Hey guys, Outdoor Enthusiast 88 here again with another review and today we're reviewing three different shotgun stocks on the Mossberg 500. This happens to be the uh, ZMB Zombie Edition right there. And pretty much I'm going to do the original Mossberg that came on the gun. I have a tactical pistol grip uh, collapsible stock version and also the Magpul SGA stock. So I'm going to go put five rounds through each of them. Just kind of get a feel for the felt recoil as well as just kind of get a feel for the accuracy and how quick it is to acquire the target. So, load it up. I have a feeling because the way the price point is for these, and we can take a closer look at the table at the end, but I do have a feeling with the price point is that the Mossberg stock itself being the cheapest at about 20 bucks, followed by the tactical stock at about 40, and then the Magpul's, uh, you know, pushing uh, 90 bucks about. I think that's five. <laughs> so let's give it a try. All right, not bad, guys. Um, yeah, let's test out the other two. All right, next up is this uh, collapsible tactical stock. Uh, they're pretty cheap. You get them for about 40, 50 bucks. It does have kind of a cheap little uh, compartment on the bottom here pops open doesn't hold very well um, again this is a cheap stock uh, it does come with a buffer tube it comes with a um, cheap kind of flimsy stock so I put a Magpul MOE on here so we're going to shoot five rounds to this one as well uh, it does have a cool tactical look to it debatable if it's any more reliable or comfortable to shoot compared to any of the other ones All right, give it a whirl. It does have, when you have to release the slide, you actually have to use your thumb and kind of readjust a little bit, push it up, so that's kind of annoying, I, I would say. Not bad. Um, Definitely does not help at all with recoil. So, so on to the next one. All right, guys. So last up, we're actually going to do the uh, Magpul SGA stock here. Um, I've done a, a review on this before, as well as an install, if you want to take a look at that. But really, you know, I just want to kind of see how it compares to the uh, original Mossberg, as well as the tactical stock you can get kind of cheaply on eBay. So shoot about five rounds through it. Kind of test out for felt recoil, as well as accuracy how quick you can pull it up your shoulder, all that good stuff. Should do pretty well. Works really well. All right, so we're back at the review table, and I wanted to kind of get a close-up look on these three different kinds of stocks, give you guys some specs, and then also kind of talk about some of the pros and cons with these. I mean, you saw how well they did at the range, and really the question probably in everyone's mind is, is the Magpul worth <laughs> over twice as much money as you know a basic stock? Actually, it's four times the money for a basic uh, Mossberg manufacturer stock. So. You know, we have the Mossberg 500 I used on the range here. Here it is right here, two spacers in there. There you go. I love this one right here. The Zombie Edition is great with the additional uh, expanded magazine tube here. The sling mount worked really well, I thought, with the Magpul stock. And if you want a deeper review on this, I have an install video as well as a full review on the Magpul stock. Take a look at that. So basically first up, and I'll show you guys here, is the traditional kind of OEM manufacturer, you know what I mean, like OEM original Mossberg stock. Um, you know, it's polymer, it's, you know, you can hear the rattling around there, you can see I just kind of tighten the screws on there, but the, uh, the bolts in there, keep it together. It does come with a sling, a little stud there to kind of go with the, the uh, stud on the top of the shotgun here, which I'm not a huge fan of, uh, just because it does uh, come loose and it'll twist your sling around. Eventually it will kind of pop out. Um, and when you do tighten it down and put thread locker on it, it's kind of twisted, it's not lined up right. So, you know, I don't usually put a sling on that shotgun particularly, but I want to show you guys 
the, uh, the weight difference in these two as well, in these three. So here's the original, 22.5, okay? So that's something to consider, think about. Next up here is the, and I should uh, mention that these are about $20, you know, and it's pretty easy to uh, install uh, and take off. Um, the other thing that is kind of cool about this one is it has a cut uh, for actually taking out the trigger group, which the Magpul, uh, you might have seen my other review, does not have that cut, and it takes a little bit of tooling to get uh, the trigger group out when the stock installed. Um, but this bolt, you need a really long screwdriver, really long, I believe, flathead, goes all the way down, so you can tighten this bolt, because the bolt, obviously, you know, it's a long bolt, but it only goes out so much to get into the threads. So something to consider. Uh, no available without modification, no available slings or anything like that. I think they do sell one that can go over the top here. Um, but they, you know, if you want one like with a side sling here, you're gonna have to make some cuts. But, so that's this one. Then you have this kind right here. Now this is a cheaper, uh, you know, tactical looking stock. I mean, it's a little rattly. Um, it did have a really cheap stock um, on it. Actually, it had a, uh, like a generic, you know, um, mill spec looking thing, but it was like really cheap plastic. Uh, this is actually a Magpul MOE I just threw on here. Um, it's not all play in there. It's actually the bolt twisted around, but you can see it's a little bit of play. And I believe this is the buffer tube that came with it. I believe it's commercial spec. You can see the cut there. So this is the commercial spec uh, Magpul MOE. Uh, six position, which is good. Uh, you can tighten it down right here. Little castle nut. Um, you can actually go and uh, take it off. There's a bolt in there, so it's pretty easy to get. You can actually use it. We kind of goofed around a little bit. When you do take off the buffer tube, you can use it as like a, a, a pistol grip shotgun, which is not very useful. It's cool looking, but it doesn't really do much. Uh, this has a little uh, latch in the back here, which is basically useless because I find after you shoot it a while that this latch actually pops open, so you can't really store anything because it will just drop out. It, actually, I've seen it before and I'm shooting it and it ends up like that, so something to consider. But this is about $40 or so. The, um, the actual Magpul here, I'm sorry, the Mossberg here, like I said, is about 20 The weight on this with the Magpul little OEM stock it's pretty light, 19.4. Yeah, 19.4, so it's, so far it's really light. Now, you'd look at the Magpul here, which is good, right? But, obviously, I haven't taken this off and haven't weighed it separately, but what Magpul's website states is that the actual stock, let's see if I can get them all on the table for you. The Magpul stock here, actually comes with uh, the two spacers installed out at about 24 ounces. So it is the heaviest of all three. However, it's a much higher quality, I would say. Um, you know, it's, it's a thick polymer, it's Magpul quality. Um, obviously being really expensive, you know, about 100 bucks, 40 bucks, 20 bucks. So the real question is, is the Magpul worth it? Well, the pros and cons here, you got, you know, going right to the left here, pro, cheap right comes on the gun it works uh, it's got a traditional kind of angle here um, no adjustment for cheek rises or anything like that you can get a better uh, rubber backing here but the actual butt pad um, is a little stiff i would say uh, it doesn't help at all with recoil uh, just traditional polymer shotgun stock nothing right home about uh, this one is really cool looking and i think it feels great in the hands um, but it had a problem with reaching around to, uh, you have to actually move your hands around to get to that uh, uh, slide release, which is not a problem with the more traditional designs right here. Uh, so you have to kind of loosen your grip to get to the slide release. Uh, easy to install, easy to take off. Um, rattles a lot more, obviously. Uh, the adjustment's really easy. So adjustment, if you're really, really worried about adjustment, this is probably the way to go. Recoil is pretty bad, I would say. Uh, there's nothing really, because you're holding your hand up here. Normally when you're gripping the shotgun um, around here, at least your hand will help with the control of the recoil. But when you're gripping it down here, you know, you're pulling the trigger up here. You're kind of, unless you hold on really tight, you're not gonna really do anything. You're actually hitting most of the recoil into the back here. Um, so, and this is a really hard, hard rubber pad. It's the hardest of all three. Um, 
something to consider there. So it's definitely not gonna help them recoil. Not the most fun to shoot after a couple hundred rounds of uh, shotgun shells, but that's the nature of a shotgun too. So uh, then of course you get to the Magpul here being more expensive. However, it has a nice butt pad. Uh, you have the spacers that are easily uh, interchangeable. Uh, and something else to note is it does have multiple, you have quick detach mounts here you can put in, you have slings. Uh, webbing sling areas here and same with this you can go in to put a web through any of the slides here you can go and put a quick detach on here if you wanted to um, yeah actually you can't do a QD but you can do the sling the web slings or a sling up top here so, so these are this one right here this does come with a really nice angle here you can actually go and hold it right here and you can see it's a much sharper angle than the original one you can see that much sharper angle than the original one. So something to consider. Let me see a better view of that for you guys. So if this was actually installed, there you go. So much sharper angle down, which is more of a pistol grip feel to it. Um, but you know, after shooting uh, quite a lot with all three of these, I'm gonna have to say, I think the Magpul is worth the money. I mean, if you're gonna really shoot your shotgun quite often, you know, like we do, we go bring out to the range off and on, you know, bring a hundred shells at a time out and just blast away either pigeons or soda bottles or steel plates. I mean, you know, just whatever, just kind of goofing off. Uh, we usually save the shotgun for last and just kind of annihilate whatever's left on the range before we clean up. But I think Magpul is the way to go, to be honest. I know the price is quite high, but find it on sale for about 90 bucks, sometimes like 82, I think I've seen is the lowest for different colors, like orange or the gray, but find it at a good price because eventually you're gonna get tired of the recoil problem with this. But now if you, another end here is if you are just gonna use this as like a, a closet shotgun, something you're just gonna leave, not use very often, home protection than the original, just fine. I used this for several years since buying the shotgun before I upgraded to the pistol grip. And then a couple years later, up to the Magpul, so. The original, if you're just gonna leave it in the closet, works just fine, no problem whatsoever. But if you really want a comfortable shotgun stock and you're gonna shoot it quite a bit, you want something that can uh, you know, be used with various optics or if you wanna have something you can use for various slings or anything like that, I think Magpul is the way to go. So, well, hey, you know what? Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe to the channel, like this video, let me know if you have any questions below at all, and uh, have a good one. Mm -hmm.